So game number two, we're going to see uh, Nate put Olympia down and it is going to be uh, Vincent and a uh, row two has a choice between uh, Reinar and Azalea. And uh, we're going to go to the game screen and see that uh, he sticks with Reinar. So we're going to have Vincent versus wow. Reinar in game two. Reinar starts off on turn zero with a or uh, orange and orange. What are we doing here? A yellow smash instinct <laughs> uh, just to kind of pitch and clear the hand out. Vincent creates a rune chant, uh, banishes a card. Uh, <laughs> his graphics are, are in the way. I believe it is a deathly whale. Uh, yep. I'm still a little rough on the Vincent cards, but uh, does the rune blood incantation. Uh, and then follows that up with a read the runes, uh, oh an incredible gosh. setup turn. Uh, and, and the Deathly Whale just comes out anyway. So uh, Deathly Whale with the rune gate comes in for free because of the three rune chants. Those are about to pop. Uh, so we're, we're going to see eight total damage threatened here. Yeah, it's uh, crazy. You started, you know, uh, with the uh, Mage Master's boots to give the read the runes go again. And that's able allows him to play the uh, Deathly Whale, and then because he's taking damage and his opponent is definitely taking damage from Vincent's ability, making you know those rune chants unpreventable, creating rune chants off the back of that, and then they're going to create more rune chants next turn. Vincent's fully set up to start this game. And row two swinging back with a red smash instinct coming for seven does have the uh, built in intimidate there. So, uh, Vincent is at three cards left to block. Um, but there was a because life was lost, the deathly whale did create the rune chant, uh, there. So, starting uh, ending the turn with a rune chant on the board, uh, essentially guaranteeing that uh, action will take place on the next turn. Uh, Though he doesn't, it doesn't look like he likes his hand, so he's just really going to put those cards uh, in front of it. Uh, banishing a Phantom Banshee on his turn. He does have a Mauvern Skies in hand left. Oh, this is great. And he still, that's a two-card a two card hand. It would go again and <laughs> uh, threatening 10. It's great. It's fantastic. 10 plus, he's probably going to swing in with the Flail afterwards. One damage on hit Rune Chant. Pretty good. Yep, and there it is. He does indeed follow up with the flail. Ends the turn with the rune oh. chant. Rotu can do nothing but swing for four on with the romping club. This is crazy. Uh, it kind of feels uh, like Vincent's in the in the driver's seat right now. Um, Reinhardt definitely has room to come back, right? So if he's able to push Vincent to the point where he's uh, going to be taking lethal damage from Reinar, it really puts a damper on his hands, right? Mm -hmm. Or her hands. Vincent absolutely needs a hand in order to play yes. cards. Um, so we're gonna, we're just going to have to see. Yeah, Vincent does not do well, especially late, if, if they're forced to defend with cards from hand, because they really need those in order to, to go off. Uh, both these heroes are in that, uh, you know, ability to really be explosive on their turns and and swing some haymakers. Uh, we see the rune chant counts already at five for this turn, uh, and it appears that's going to be it. Just uh, putting some more rune chants on the board and passing. Uh, and we see that Vincent's got some uh, defense reactions ready uh, for whatever Reinar's got, but Reinar does have a five card hand. This is interesting. Uh, you know, the Reinar deck sometimes won't have enough go again to uh, use the whole five cards. Um, with beaten trackers, they should be able to do whatever they want. It's it's just a matter of sign lining it up. I think it's really interesting now. Uh, Vincent didn't throw anything last turn. I feel like they ha they were in the position to where they could have. Um, but they might just be thinking about a longer barraging. game, right? It's a red so, barraging beatdown. Yeah. Red barraging the Goliath oh. Gauntlet and and then a pack hunt coming in for twelve. Holy frick! Uh, so we see a uh, block with a card from hand and the bloodied oval. There it is, as well as uh, one reduced uh, from Rune Chant. The other one being uh, intimidated out. Now the Rune Chant counts at eight. 
They could throw something. They could keep building rune chance. I think what they were hoping for was a card with go again or would give their attacks go again and they might be able to just string a series of attacks back and forth. But I think they're like cramped at this point and they need to start actually applying some pressure. So here comes the Goliath Gauntlet, a ton of rune chance and a deathly delight. Yep. Yep. Speaking of pressure, uh, we're going to be seeing eight rune chance and then this is five plus the two coming in for seven. Uh, so just a casual. 15 damage being presented here. Here's the clash all the rune chance. blocking in that agility token. I think Vincent's completely set up right now. Holy frick. Five card hand, card and arsenal, or card and banish that they can use. Oh, but if you got a block like that, that hurts. But man, this is Holy a... Holy cow. Yeah, this is a clap back and a half. We see the Alpha Rampage coming out, uh, intimidating a bunch of cards out of hand. Uh, coming in for nine, the Agility Token giving it go again. Uh, still having two resources floating mean, means the follow-up of the Romping Club for five Ooh. will be coming in. So f 14 damage uh, threatened on that turn. Uh, for Reinhardt, the just the haymakers. This this format is all back just, and forth. This yeah. is Rocky Whoa. Four. All punches. No one knows how to block. I may have made this reference already. I can't recall. But either way, people people are have like, uh, bloody faces, bloody noses, uh, and uh, some bad ass theme music to go with it. Uh, we do see the Smash Instinct coming in for seven. Another red one. This is the kind of hand that I think Vince had really wanted, and now they have to really block with it. So we're going to see how they handle this. Uh, I feel like you can, yeah, just throw one card in front of it. Ooh, this, ooh man. Oh, okay, okay. All right, all right. Well, all right. Not the worst to... thing, not the worst thing. Oh, interesting. Oh, my gosh. They still they gotta watch them they gotta watch out themselves because they're now at two. Not only are they in reckless, uh, I believe. Well, reckless isn't even a, a thing <clears throat> in clash, but uh, they're they gotta be careful how much they hurt themselves. Uh, now Vincent is down at to Got one. Blood debt, uh, and I believe they just passed. Oh yes, the blood debt, the one blood debt, and the, uh, they just passed. They drew two oh, pummels. Oh no. And, uh, I don't know what's going on, oh, but it's no. not not anything they, they can do. You got to get that putrid stirrings out or you are going to die. Do you want to pay <laughs> no, one life? Not paying sure one not, life. Sure don't. <laughs> but I don't think they really have a follow up for that. So just passes. They just, oh, no, but they no. did. They cleared the blood debt. I get it. They cleared the blood debt, but it took a two card hand to do it. They are so down on tempo right now. Reinhardt coming in with seven go again. Uh, it's just going to be another hammer swing after this. They it could do be have. It could. It could. And that's four. It's going to take oh, two cards. Just hang on. Oh. The three rune chance. He just. They just need one like attack to come through. Ah, uh, the savage feast for ten. Oh. oh, but they do get the two block, so it does block for six. Oh, oh no. no, the romping club. It gets the, the job done. The perfect time. Holy frick. That was feels that like was uh, <laughs> feels like Vincent got got a little rune bladed at the end there. Uh, some some pretty yeah. unfortunate hands coming up, but it, they were on the back foot. Uh, the, I say for the back half of that game. Uh, uh, and uh, right now, really, really kept the gas going on. There was able to follow up. You were you were saying earlier. Uh, was missing the agility tokens early, started generating them late with the clash of agilities and discarding the wind up, wind up and being able to uh, attack and follow up with club consistently. It seemed to be enough to really get the job done there. I am Patrick Shaw. You can find me on Off the Rails TCG and at Pat Smash Good. Uh, Will, where can we find you? You can find me on the Table Pit. We do in person UPF gameplay videos. And Pat, it's a pleasure to work with you. Uh, and you, as always, and I'm, that is going to do it for us tonight. Thanks again for tuning in, and we'll catch you on the next one.